striking clinic and that is his methodology coming in here tonight he'll try to keep the fight on and that's why we tune in right that's why we tune in we tune in to see guys that are dynamic we tune in for the speed we tune in for the knowledge of the striking game the ability to set traps the ability to find the jab the ability to find the right hand the right kick the left kick the knees the elbows he truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents you make one mistake Night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Shabar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Nice punch, Lance. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. And clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, a huge block there. Big kick. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Right hand punches the clinch. 
Oh, oh nice job to block the kick. Great one. Big leg kick lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Finish. Oh! Real nice body kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Punches block. Right punches there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Upstairs. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Head kick. Unable to connect there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this one. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, and he lands down. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, he might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. And there comes the separation now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. to hide that leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punt lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Try to establish that jab. Big kick lands. Another shot lands upstairs. I mean, since this thing on the feet, how many times can you say punch to the head? All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Great punch landing with so much power. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, 
Big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Liver kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check out. And he switches his stance yet again. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Straight punch land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Very tricky when he throws that body. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. Oh, fight the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Big elbow! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice head kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. That was a thudding leg kick. Big head kick land. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Nice punch there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. His face would have to be classified as a mess. Oh! Huge right hand! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got a bad! All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the I love the grappling. It can really be entertaining. And they separate. Ten seconds remain in round two. That was a good Nice strike. And they separate. Round three next. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Cardio 
was set. I want you to get back up there and push even harder. You can... Third round underway. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Big punch land. Leg kick. there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Three minutes to go in the round. Nice strike. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue, and they separate. Big body kick. Right on the button. Counter punch attempt here, no good. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, that's a good right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have to hit the hell. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Muay Thai plump. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Nice sneaky head kick. Strike there, a 
Sanders, he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Visibly limping here. Oh, big head kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big body kick land. Big leg kick land. Good punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with the big right hand. There, huge block. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Nice pick. Beautiful body kick. Punch over the top. That to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to get the knife. He was high on that one. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Lee's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Sneaky head kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he comes through with a big knee. Unable to find the target. Single collar tie now. Oh, big knee there. Nice punch. <laughs> He's hurt bad. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 
Everybody's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Thunderous legs up, limped a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Why, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Fifth and final round. Big kick lands. Oh, big head kick land. Right hand on point. Just misses with the right. Oh, big punch land. There's the kick, it's blocked. Just missed with the leg kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Effective strike there by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. There's no kill on that leg. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. To attack. His opponent limped a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Under three minutes now to go in this one. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, and they get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be going. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Ground and pound strike there now. Let's go. Get him off here. Get him off. All 
All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one, two there by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Head kick. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. How good is that right hand? Beautiful strike. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him lift his hips into that kick. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 49 46 declaring the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon Lee all right so there he is the celebration is on he tried to leave the judges out of it tonight was unable to do that but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless he's your winner by unanimous decision and you've got to feel good about that you got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory he's going to be very proud of his performance